Welcome to CAU TV News, right? I'm Tony Evans. Fireballs, many people witnessed descending from the Texas sky Sunday were not space debris from last week's satellite crash. According to the U.S. Strategic Command, numerous people say they thought the bright inferno was remains from last Tuesday's collision between two satellites in space. A United States commercial satellite and an old Russian satellite collided nearly 500 miles above Earth's atmosphere. Reports are that the sight of fireballs and the sounds of sonic booms were also heard by pilots flying into the Dallas-Fort Worth International Airport. The Tri-State Club held a meeting on the campus of Clark Atlanta University. Newsworks Kenna Anderson has the report. Here in Carly Mary Well, the Tri-State Club held a second general body meeting to decide on who will be the new e-board members. Coming up next year, obviously we have some people graduate like myself and uh, our vice president, so we're going to have some available positions as far as our CCO rep, our vice president, president, events coordinators, and uh, Mr. and Mrs. Tri-State, which is very important. They participate in the homecoming ceremony as well as do our community service. So I think as far as that, our criteria is making sure we have somebody from the Tri-State for one. One member, Yawande Alasokin, expressed how she would like to be a part of the e-board. I'm really thinking about running for Miss Tri-State because I do feel like, you know, the, that duty entails, you know, being over community service. And I think it's very important to give back to the community. Students were eager to attend the meeting and pick up their applications for the new e-board positions. I'm Kane Anderson, Newsbreak 23. Be sure to join us weekdays at 10 a.m. and 2 p.m. on Comcast Channel 23. And remember, if it's news you want, it's news break you'll get. One NBA team has made yet another coaching change. The Phoenix Suns became the eighth team this season to hire a new head coach. The team fired head coach Terry Porter, replacing him with assistant coach Alvin Gentry. This was Porter's first season with the Suns, whose record is 28-23. and 23. Unfortunately, the record would not help in advancing Phoenix to the playoffs in the rigorous Western Conference. The Arizona team is one game behind the Utah Jazz for the eighth and final postseason spot. Stay tuned for more CAU TV news break. Big dreams and good grades aren't enough to get into college. There are actual steps you need to take. Finding someone who can help is the first and most important. For the next steps, go to knowhowtogo.org. Olympic swimmer Michael Phelps will not be facing any charges after all. The sheriff of Richland County, South Carolina, Leon Lott, said there is not sufficient evidence to impose charges on the swimmer. However, Lott wants to make it clear he is not discarding the case. Phelps was shown in a photo using a bong at a party. Sheriff Lott also says the Olympic gold medalist gave an apology, but that Phelps did not admit to smoking marijuana. Phelps will be losing endorsement contracts and has been suspended temporarily from all USA competitive swimming. Hallmark Card Company hosted a workshop on the campus of Clark Atlanta University. Newsworks Brandon Jones has the story. On the campus of Clark Atlanta University, Hallmark is giving a writing workshop. Okay, well, um, today we just came out to the AUC so we can tell students about our um, internship opportunities. Uh, we wanted to go through some writing exercises so they could know what to expect when they do the online portfolio. Like, that's how interns are hired. So any student here has a big leg up on anybody else that's applying for the internship because they know what to expect. One student shares how he learned the process of writing. It's just letting me know um, what it's all about in depth. You know, you, you might just think you just write a poem and that's it. But no, it has to go through different processes before it comes to print. You can't just have one form of writing. You got to know how to write about different occasions, different holidays for different demographics. It, it just shows how diverse, you know, the field actually is. Another student explained why to have an open mind in writing. How you have to be so much more open-minded, um, you know, especially when dealing with a whole bunch of different people, different demographics of people. Students that attended this event broadened their horizons on writing. I'm Brandon Jones, Newsbreak 23.
Thanks for tuning in into CAU TV News Rate. Call on your comments and news suggestions to 404 880 8909. Join us weekdays at 10 a.m. and 2 p.m. I'm Tony Evans.